Hi everyone, in this segment we're going to check out some of the grading volume tools. So uh, notice that we've got a, a grading group created and if you check out your sites you should have a grading group uh, built. We also created a surface from that grading group and that surface is now listed in the surfaces section. Uh, but we can utilize and take advantage of some of these uh, great grading volume tools to help us uh, determine cut and fills and balances for our grading group. So if you want, uh, once you've got a grading group created, you want to check out the Analyze tab on your ribbon. So go ahead and click Analyze. And notice in the Volumes and Materials section here, you've got some grading volume tools. So let's go ahead and open that up. And uh, what we'll have to do is uh, make sure that we've got the correct grading group set. If you've got more than one, which you might, make sure that that grading group is set accordingly. That's very important. Uh, and also now what we can do is take a look at uh, some of these values here. So notice that currently uh, compared against my existing ground surface, uh, I've got a net fill of about 62,000 cubic meters. So I can adjust that if I want. Notice that if I wanted to raise my entire grading group up by uh, perhaps a quarter of a meter, I can go ahead and do that. Type in the value and increase it. And notice what happens is that my slopes will start to extend out as I grade upwards and outwards. And it's got some uh, running tally of all my objects that I've created. and. Uh, you can uh, delete those or undo whatever you like here. Now, uh, another great tool in these grading volume tools is your balancing options. So you can uh, select this little button here and up comes a little dialog box and says what kind of volumes do you want to get out of this, uh, uh, this uh, comparison surface against your grading group. So if you would like a zero balance, go ahead and say OK. And what it'll do, it'll automatically raise or lower the entire grading group. Uh, so that it has a, as close as it can to a zero balance. So you'll notice in my latest uh, uh, choice for those uh, balancing tools, it got as close as it could to about 19 meters. And uh, you know, sometimes you can try running it twice, it might run through again, but uh, so it basically gets as close as it possibly can. Uh, but those grading uh, tool, volume tools are pretty handy and uh, don't be afraid to uh, take advantage of them. Thanks for watching everyone.